handicap. Race five tonight at Yonkers Raceway. Jody, one quick comment before we go to the gate. Anxious Robbie is presently at four to five. The betting public likes him. Uh, the favorites have had a tough time here so far tonight, but uh, Gary Mosher knows he's got the stock. He'll get him there at the finish. A seven horse field. Let's go upstairs to track announcer, Bob Meyer. Thank you, Gary. All seven ready to go. And they're off. Prince Ebony, the center track, tries for the lead. Anxious Robbie, the far outside second, promised towards the rail third. With Big Arrow fourth, Pacific Dream fifth, Covert Action sixth, Lord Trails to fill seventh. Around the turn down the back stretch, Prince Ebony in front by length. Anxious Robbie moves on the outside second to challenge, promised along the rail third, Big Arrow fourth. Straightening out down the back stretch, Anxious Robbie on the outside to get a neck in front. Prince Ebony on the rail second, promised third, Big Arrow fourth. Gap of three lengths, Pacific Dream fifth. Quarter time is 28 and 1. At the paddock turn the first time. Anxious Robbie in front now by two lengths. Prince Ebony second. Promise third. Big Arrow fourth. Pacific Dream fifth. Covert action the outside sixth. Gap of a length and a half. Floor trails to fill seventh. As they come by the stands the first time. Anxious Robbie shows the way by a length and a half. Prince Ebony second. Big Arrow moving on the outside third. Promise along the rail fourth. Pacific Dream has the cover on the outside fifth. Covert action sixth. Floor trails to fill seventh. Half time is 59 seconds flat. Around the clubhouse turn to final time. Anxious Robbie on top by a little more than a length. Big Arrow on the rim second. Prince Ebony along the rail third. Gap between half lengths. Promise on the inside fourth. Pacific Dream alongside fifth. Covert action on the rail sixth. Lord alongside seventh. Down the back stretch. Anxious Robbie on the inside. Anxious out of the lead by neck. Big Arrow right there alongside second. Gap at two lengths. Prince Ebony third. Pacific Dream the outside fourth. Approaching the three-quarter pole, Big Arrow on the outside, Anxious Robbie on the inside, they're head and head for the lead. Three quarters, 128 and two. Around the far turn, Big Arrow on the outside in front by a half length, Anxious Robbie rallies along the rail second. Two lengths back to Prince Ebony third, Promise on the rail fourth, Pacific Dream fifth. They approach the head of the stretch, Anxious Robbie on the inside is regained the lead by a half length. Big Arrow alongside second, Prince Ebony third. Through this stretch, Anxious Robbie with Big Arrow and Prince Ebony. Anxious Robbie and Big Arrow, Anxious Robbie. Here's the finish. Anxious Robbie, number seven, in between horses, hangs on by a neck. The photo is for place and show. The mile and one, 57 and one. Let's go back to Gary and Jody. Thank you very much, Bob Meyer. Anxious Robbie and Gary Mosier, and he got Anxious Robbie where he wanted to be. BJ's lad was, or rather, Big Arrow was coming on the outside, and how about Prince Ebony up the rail on the inside, Jody? Gary, you can't ask for a more exciting finish than this. Uh, Gary Mosher took the lead, getting Anxious Robbie out quickly from the gate from the seven hole. He would set some decent fractions, not great fractions, 128 and 2. Looked like he might be able to hold on easily here, but on the outside, Big Arrow is going to pressure him, going to make Gary Mosher go to that whip, and then a good pocket trip for number four, Prince Ebony, who was a good second last week. If he had a little bit more room, he might have been able to get up here. It looks like he was looking for racing room. Luckily for Anxious Robbie, he was able to hold on by a little bit more than a half. So Gary Mosier is now three wins away from that hallowed 2,500 win mark for his career as he pilots Anxious Robbie to victory in the fifth race. The winning time, 1.57 and 1. And we'll have more after these commercial messages. Anxious Robbie, the seven-year-old by Happy Motoring, 360, $3.240. Prince Ebony up the rail for place. Big Arrow, the show horse. The 7-4 exacta returning $10. Winning time, 157 in one. Down to the winner's circle and George Anthony. Thank you, Gary. I think a little bit of a dejected George Anthony. I didn't do so well here with Promise tonight. Gary Anxious Robbie shows his class here. Second to Matt Scooter two weeks ago, and you have a, a big trip on your hands by here tonight. Yeah, he's a nice horse. He, uh... Big favorite on the board, and uh, I put him out on the front end where he belonged, and he hung on, beat a nice bunch of open paces here tonight. We're going to take a look past the three-quarter pole. Joe Marsh and uh, Big Arrow came to you on the outside, and you had the lead on the rail. Oh, what were you thinking right here? I was very surprised that Big Arrow kept up this well. You know, I was going to use him for maybe some uh, little dead cover to give my horse a little breather, but the horse kept charging, and I had to drive on. Uh, we came last score 28 and 4, I believe, and uh, Big Arrow was a big threat. <laughs> You All right, we're going to show you coming in a stretch here, Gary. You got the lead. Hervé's coming up the rail with Prince Ebony. Uh, would you have a strong horse here? Well, he's the kind of horse that uh, if you don't knock on him or, you know, get after him, he'll come right to a walk, and you, you have to really get after this horse, and the more you get after him, the more he'll respond, and uh, I think the more they come, the more he's going to go on. 
First time you've driven him, right, Gary? No, I won with this horse uh, three weeks ago here in 56 and one or two in the open pace, also right on the front end. This horse fits me well. Anxious Robbie, one of the only millionaires in the field, Gary, shows his class here tonight to take the open handicap pace in good fashion in a good time of 157 and one. Back upstairs to Gary and Jody. Thank you very much, George, as Anxious Robbie victorious in the fifth race at Yonkers Raceway. And Anxious Robbie going to the front, and Gary Mosier said that's where he wanted Anxious Robbie to be. And covert action picked by Frank Drucker never got out. The coming